Welcome to the first in our new series, Latte Laboratory. Now, you might notice the white jacket. They outfitted me with the one with extra big pockets so I can carry around all the goods that I'm gonna use to do testing. I got my shot glass, I got my tamper here, I got my thermometer, and I got my ever trusty pen to take notes, right? Everything that a scientist needs. What are we gonna do in this series? We are going to take the questions that you pose to us, then you put them down below in the comments, and we're gonna test it out to see you know, what the answers are. We are going to do the question. I am gonna give my hypothesis of how I think it's gonna come out. We're gonna do the test, and then we're gonna present the results. What's the question today? The question is, can you use the Virtuoso for a non-pressurized pour to filter and have good results? Or is it better to use the Precisa? We're gonna compare the two and see what the results are. My thought is, while the Virtuoso, this is just my thoughts on it, this from my experience, the Virtuoso will get you there and you might be able to pull a nice shot when your coffee is fresh, but you're gonna be down at the bottom of the range. You're not gonna have a lot of latitude. Coffee starts to get stale, you're not gonna be able to take it down a notch because the notches are not gonna be there. My thoughts are, on the Preciso, you have more wiggle room. So, we did do a test. Do you wanna know what I came up with? We have it set here at number two on the Virtuoso, and we did 18 grams of coffee in each one in the portafilter. We weighed it out. We got real scientific, well, as scientific as we ever get, 18 grams. Set at number two, we got a 26 second shot, two ounces off of the Virtuoso. We're almost at the bottom of the range. On the Preciso, we are at number six, and then at the micro, we're at D. We have four more settings down here to go to, and over to A would be the finest. And we had a, again, 18 grams in the portafilter, um, two, uh, two ounce pull in 30 seconds. That's what we came up with. I took some notes. So I'm gonna prove it out to you. I'm gonna show you what we came up with, and then I'm gonna give you the, what my thoughts are after we have done the test. How long do you think this white coat's gonna stay white? This was a surprise to me. And I said, ooh, black, navy blue, 16 grams. 18 grams, okay. Oops, don't lose any there, Gail. That's sometimes, I think we were, you know, 18 grams. Since we started with 18, 18 grams, we stuck with it. 17 would have been more than the size, I think, for this portafilter, but hey, it's a test. Okay, so you wanna do the purge so that you stabilize the temperature because we wanna have everything equal. All right. Catch the pockets. I can carry around portafilters. I can carry around grinder in here. All I need is a battery pack. I'm gonna taste this too. Of course, taste is the big, uh, the big deal of what you're really looking for is the best taste. Nice crema, this is fresh coffee. This was roasted five days ago. It's a little off, I would say. So I'm gonna try it again. To get the best taste, I wanna rinse this out real quick. Let's make a shot with the Preciso. Clean this out, get all the residual out of there. You know, I think it should be embroidered Gale right across here. What do you think? Just saying. 17 grams. 
19 grams. Still 19 grams. <laughs> Please. There we go, 18 grams. Get it all into every nook and cranny here. Flush, just keep everything equal, just in case. looking shot. All right, see if it tastes any different. It's a little bit better, a little smoother. Not a lot, but just enough. What's the results? Here we are over at the Virtuoso. We're at a number two, Preciso. We're at number six, and we're not all the way down on the fineness range on the mac micro. This one, we have, that's it. That's as far as you're gonna go. So, my thoughts were, I proved what I, what I thought was gonna happen. My, my hypothesis was that while you might get a shot while your coffee's very fresh, brand new, as it stales and goes down like 10 days out, I don't think it's gonna work. It's great for a pressurized portafilter, no problem. This one, pressurized, non-pressurized, you have all these settings more that you can play with. You can go finer. So, this is gonna work better. That's the test results right there, folks. Send in your questions about what you would like us to test out. And I'm having a, you know, something was said about Every coffee stain I get on this coat should be left on the coat. Tell me what you think. I'm thinking take it home and launder it every now and again. And these guys are like, no, get it all stained up and nasty. It'll look better. Let me know what you think. Send in some questions, some tests. We'll perform them in the new Latte Laboratory. Subscribe. Comment down below. Stay tuned.